how to add your email account to Microsoft Outlook 2010. Hi there! In this video, we are going to talk you through adding an email account to Microsoft Outlook 2010. This method can be applied to an email account from any mail provider. However, in this tutorial, we will provide the specific settings for 123 Mail as well. Right, let's get started. First, open your Outlook account and go to File, then select Add Account. Now select Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types. This allows you to manually enter your details in order to connect to the mail server and begin retrieving your email via Outlook 2010. Click Next and now you can choose a service. For this tutorial, you will need to select Internet Email. If you are adding a Microsoft Exchange account, then please select the applicable option. Please ensure that you find out the specific details for the options listed, as the setup details we will provide are for adding an account using POP or IMAP. POP and IMAP are mail protocols that allow you to receive your email via an email client. You may have heard of email clients before, such as Outlook 2010 or Mozilla Thunderbird desktop clients a webmail interface such as Gmail or 123mail, or on your mail app on your smartphone or tablet. So, what does the POP option do? Well, POP downloads your mail as you view it on your email client. It's great for users who only want to access their mail from one email client or device. And IMAP? How does that work? IMAP allows you to read your email without having to download it. The important thing to note here is that IMAP works well for users wanting to view and manage their email from multiple mail clients. OK, now we have explained that, you will need to click Next. Under the User Information section, type in your name. This is how you want your name to display when you send emails. Type in the email address for the account you wish to set up. Great! You can now begin adding your server information settings. Let's start by choosing between POP3 or IMAP from the Account Type drop-down menu. To be able to access your email via Microsoft Outlook 2010, you will need to add the incoming server address. If you are using 123Mail and have chosen to view your email using POP, then type pop.123-reg.co.uk into the incoming box. For POP, you will also need to choose where you would like your new emails to be downloaded to. You can choose to create a new data file, where all of your new emails will be saved, or use an existing Outlook data file if you have one. For this tutorial, we will select to use a new Outlook data file. If you have decided to use IMAP, then type in imap.123-reg.co.uk. If you are using another mail provider, you will need to enter their server address details. It is common practice to try pop.yourdomain.co.uk or imap.yourdomain.co.uk and then simply replace yourdomain.co.uk with your own domain name. Please be aware that this does not apply to all providers. We therefore recommend that you check with your service provider for their specific server settings. Right. Your incoming server is set up, and you now have the details you need to retrieve emails. Let's move on to look at setting up the ability to send email. To be able to send your email through Microsoft Outlook 2010, you will need to add the outgoing mail server address. For 123Mail, the server address is smtp.123-reg.co.uk. Please note, some internet service providers, such as BT and Orange, may not allow you to connect to the outgoing mail server using an SMTP address from a third-party provider. However, do try using the details we will provide, and if you incur any problems, then please get in contact with your service provider. If you are using an alternate mail provider, try using smtp.yourdomain.co.uk as the outgoing server address replacing your domain.co.uk with your own domain name. Although this is common practice, it doesn't apply to all providers. 
We therefore recommend, as with your incoming server settings, that you check with your mail provider for their specific outgoing server settings. Under the Logon Information section, type in your username. For 123Mail, this is the email address on the mailbox you are setting up. If you are using an alternate mail provider, check with them for what your username should be. Now type in your password for the email address you wish to set up and tick the Remember Password box if you would like Outlook to remember your password. If you do not tick this box, Outlook will constantly ask for your password. Ensure that the Require Logon Using Secure Password Authentication box is unticked. SPA, or Secure Password Authentication, is a process which Microsoft uses to authenticate email accounts connected via Windows Active Directory. As we are adding an account which is not supported by this authentication, ticking this box will cause an error when adding your account. So we will leave it unticked. We're almost there now. We just need to check that the outgoing settings are set up correctly. To do this, click More Settings. Select the Outgoing Server tab and then tick My Outgoing Server SMTP Requires Authentication. This ensures that the outgoing mail server is only accessed when you have entered the username and password for the email account you are setting up. Please note that for 123 Reg users, you will need to use the same logon information as your incoming server. If you are using a different mail provider, you will need to select the logon using option and use the outgoing server logon details that your mail provider gives you. Enter the username and password and choose whether you would like Outlook to remember the password. For this tutorial, we will choose to use the same settings as the incoming server. Select OK. The Test Account Settings button allows you to test that the settings you have entered are correct. Click the button to test your settings. Microsoft Outlook is testing that the settings you have entered are correct by logging into the incoming server and sending a test email, which you will receive once you have set up the account. If the tasks read that there were errors while processing tests, then click Close and check you have entered the details correctly. When the tasks have completed, you should see a confirmation message stating that the tests have been completed successfully. Click Close. Untick the box which reads Test Account Settings by clicking the Next button, as we've just checked this. Now click Next. You will now see a congratulations message. Click Finish and that's it. Your email account will be set up with Outlook 2010. You will now be able to send and receive emails using this account. If you wish to add another account, then select the Add Another Account button and follow the same steps as you have done with this account. When sending a message, remember to select your new email account from the drop down menu in the From box. Thanks for watching. If you require further help or assistance, please visit our support site at www.123-reg.co.uk forward slash support.